Hey guys, today we are going to be doing a quick example on um, audio stretching. And first we're going to go and grab a clip. Let's, oops, we're not trying to play a clip, we're just trying to grab it. And I'll bring it in here and then let's just go to like a shot here. Cut that out. Alright, so we'll hit play here so you can hear the normal sound sounds just sounds right right so now let's stretch it out a little bit and you'll hear the audio is way off all right so now that is a result of the audio being pulled out and I don't know the terminology for it but basically what it's doing is it's resampling the exact same little piece of audio over and over to stretch it out um, it's kind of like if you slow down a video it shows the same frames for longer so to fix that, we're going to right-click the uh, audio track, go to Properties, and then here we're going to see Pitch Change. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 13. I don't know um, what it's like on other versions, but I believe that it would probably be around the same. So now let's listen to the audio again, and it will be um, better. I don't know what the process is that does it, but it's just better, trust me. There you go. Um, now this would be... Uh, given if you were to want the original audio that you have in your clip, if not, I would just remove the audio track and let's say you go to where the shot happens. And it happens right there, so we'll just I would put the marker here and uh, actually just take an audio bite. I don't have one on me, but. Uh, so that way it wouldn't actually be using audio from the game, it would just be using audio that you add, and then obviously when you render it wouldn't matter. So, there you go, hope this helps a little bit, and I can't say I will be doing more tutorials, or this wasn't even really a tutorial, but I hope it helped.